I went to see my new physio and he said, get out there and run. Okay, not his exact words, but uh, it did come down to that I should be out running and uh, not do my long runs, but again, start with my uh, interval runs. So today I'm doing a uh, one minute on, two minute off, but at least I'm running. <laughs> Now we did some tests and he felt my knee, even did an echo on my knee. And he said that uh, besides it being uh, the wear on my medial meniscus, like the MRI showed, it, it could also be a problem with my tendon, with the patella. So for this, I have to do some other exercises. He told me not to do the, the squats and all those exercises that I've been doing because they might be a little bit too tough. There's the beep. <laughs> we gave you some uh, resistance exercises to do. Uh, I need to get a stronger uh, resistance band to be able to do it uh, but for now doing wall sits can help as well so I'm doing wall sits and the other thing he said is to keep it active you have to keep uh, moving uh, the tendon and keep uh, yeah keep running but not strain it too much so interval runs like I'm doing now and that's the key to take it easy to not overdo it because uh, besides my energy and my endurance being completely shot, I do feel like I can still run more. When I'm running, it doesn't bother me. My, there's no pain. I can run just fine. It's the day after. So that's what I gotta be careful for. And that's what I gotta be mindful of while I'm running, while I'm doing my exercises to make sure that I don't do just a little bit too much to be in pain tomorrow as so long as I keep can keep that pain away yeah uh, the longer I can keep running keep training keep getting better keep getting ready for that marathon now like I mentioned in my last video I found the diagnosis of the MRI scan a bit strange uh, that the pain should, w would come from uh, the wear of the medial meniscus and uh, that the, the pain was in a different area I believe and uh, it seems like like I'm I might be right on that he thinks it might be the tendons that's what my initial thought was being the tendons or the muscles and hopefully uh, this can get me ready a lot sooner than uh, yeah what, what they said the problem was but even even so, a tendon doesn't heal that easily. It takes a lot longer for a tendon to heal than for a muscle to heal. There's less uh, growth in a tendon than there is in a muscle. So it still might take a while, but hopefully by taking it easy, uh, I can get there and uh, be on my way to actually run longer distances. That's my cue. <laughs> but even, even now that I started running, 100 days is normally not enough to get me to where I normally am at when I train for a marathon especially because when I normally start I'm already running uh, long runs I'm already doing at least 15k and uh, now I'm doing short intervals I don't think I can even run a 5k without stopping so uh, but I have some other things that I'm going to be uh, doing to help me get ready which uh, I'll share uh, elaborately in the, the next video but uh yeah, I, I do think that the 100 days with my experience, with the things that I'm going to be implementing, I, I might be able to run that marathon. So uh, I'm determined and I will run that marathon. So make sure that you don't miss that video and uh, follow me on my journey to get ready for a marathon in 100 days. Till next time, get out there and run.